my dear doctor, I'd like to discuss a topic that is called the Huipo's disease. Huipo's disease is a rare multisystem disorder caused by Trophyroma huipeli, circle the Trophyroma huipeli infections. It is more common in those who are HLA-B27 positive, so circle HLA-B27 and in middle-aged men. Features are malabsorption like diarrhea, weight loss, large joint arthralgia, lymphadenopathy, hyperpigmentation, photosensitivity, tuberous pericarditis. Neurological symptoms are rare like the ophthalmoplegia, dementia, seizures, ataxia, and myoclonus. Investigation that showed the general biopsy shows the deposition of the macrophages containing the pass. Granules, so circle the PAS means a periodic acid shift granule. Circle the PAS, the word management varies that IV penicillin, that oral co trimoxazole for a year. So circle penicillin, circle PAS, and circle the pigmentation, then the photosensitivity pericarditis, yes, and tropinema huipeli. Mind you, just look at the board, that, that will be helpful, all right. So, it's a very important box that I'm giving, my dear, SS box, huipol's disease, if a single word and pathognomonic features that we need to remember, that is called the myoclonus, say with me, myoclonus. And this is a special variety of myoclonus that we call the oculo masticatory myorrhythmia. So I'm writing, so W.D. Wilson's uh, Whipple's disease, we can write the Whipple's disease like W.P.D. That will be helpful, Whipple's disease. Because we already talked about the Wilson's disease, W.D., but here the Whipple's disease, is WPD is nothing but just write it down oculo masticatory myorrhythmia. So this is the box OMM. OMM means oculo. I'm writing oculo masticatory myo myorrhythmia. So this is called basically the oculo masticatory. Yes, if you can write the masticatory, and this is myorrhythmia. So this is the box of pathognomonic features. Means whenever we have the scenarios and we have the answer options that the Huipos did is, we need to look for into our questions and scenarios. That is OMM myoclonus, M for myoclonus, and this is a special variety that's called the oculo masticatory myorrhythmia. It has been that oculo masticatory, so ocular muscles and masticatory muscles, we have a very rhythms in between them. So if it is happening something like that, I'm masticating and ocular movements is happening. So this is called oculomasticatory myrhythmia. So when I'm masticating, so there will be no ocular muscle arrhythmia, means no spasm. So oculomasticatory myrhythmia means, yes, there is a ocular spasm when the masticatory muscles are active. So this is the pathognomonic features of Huipo's disease, my dear. If you can just look at the Huipo's, the word, you will see the double P. I'm saying the first P that you must remember, my dear. The P for past positive macrophage. Past, past, past positive. Yes, it is said the macrophage containing the past positive. And the P stands for the penicillin. It's done, finished. So yes, what I'm saying, the Huipol's disease, if you have the double P, so once again, the first P need to remember the past positive macrophage. And next P stands on the penicillin. 
that we need to remember. So yes, the pathognomonic features are OMM, oculomastigary myrrhythmia. So we need to diagnose by the past positive, yes, the biopsy. And third is the treatment is a penicillin, P for penicillin. We pause, double P is there. We need to work on a little bit more so that it will be helpful, my dear. Let's start with the Hui pulse is nothing but uh, mnemonics of the Hui pulse, all right? W, H, all right, just write it down. W, H, I, double P, L, E, S, Hui pulse, all right? This Hui pulse means W, if you just make W, just turn them Reverse, all right, so the male absorption, once again, male absorption, my dear, male absorption. And male absorption, once again, W means, once again, weight loss, diarrhea, and steatoria, bundle pack. H stands on the high part, pigmentation. Just write it down, hyper pigmentation. Yes, my dear. I for I. What happened in I? I for ophthalmoplegia. And P for photosensitivity. Yes, P for photosensitivity. Once again, P for pericarditis. P for pericarditis and P for pleurisy and once again P stands for the past positive and P stands for the penicillin plus penicillin Followed by co-timoxazole, we are writing the cotrim for one year. And L stands on the LN plus. We are always talking about the LN plus in lymphadenopathy. And E for, yes, dementia. Means we talk about the dementia. And S. Dementia, Huipol, all right. And once again, E stands on the arthritis. So a little bit more discussion will be helpful, my dear. Let's talk about them. So this is the box for the Huipol's disease. So yes, W for weight loss or W just on male absorption, H for hyperpigmentation, I for I, ophthalmoplegia and P for photosensitivity, P for pericarditis and P for pleurisy, P for past positive, P for penicillin followed by cotrimoxazole, which is a treatment box and which is an investigation diagnostic box, which is a treatment box, all right? Already we have done, we have done this box, all right. Next is the L for lymphadenopathy and E for once again, dementia and arthritis. So yes, we can write dementia and arthritis. So this is box once again, and these are SS box, how these are helpful, my dear. So we must remember. So Huipol's disease is nothing but, right? Huipol's disease is nothing but the WOMM as well as we can write double P L E Huipol's, right? So this is a very important box, my dear. Yes, starting with the W for weight loss, steatoria diet is nothing but the M for malabsorption, we can remember. H for hyperpigmentation that we need to remember once again. And last, I for ophthalmoplasia once again. And P for the PPP, photosensitivity, pericarditis, pleurisy, as well as P for penicillin, P for past positive that we need to remember. L for lymphadenopathy, as well as E for Dementia, once again, E for 
arthritis. So these whipples will be helpful to remember all them together, right? But we must remember P for past positive, P for penicillin is the treatment of choice here, and oculomasticatory myrrhythmia. The must to remember, my dear, that is the OMM and whipples itself is a mnemonic. I hope that you enjoyed, my dear. Thank you. Thank you very much. If you like our videos, don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell button to get more updates.